Hello fellow steel mill modelers, model railroaders, HO scale folks. Today uh, I wanted to share this. This is one of my most recent builds and I got the idea from another modeler, Corey. And Corey was kind enough to send me a slag dump where, uh, you know, it's a small mobile equipment uh, crest type slag dump where they back up and just dump the pot into the pit. And uh, to be honest, I was like super floored by it because it was really, really very well done. And, uh, and then he told me how he did it and I thought, man, that's cool. You really made it out of that? And he was like, yep. And so I wanted to try my own hand at using the same materials that Corey did. I used uh, styrofoam, about this thickness right here, to get all of this and up there in the ramp and what have you. And uh, the rest is cardstock. And I did have some El Cheapo I beams that kind of look like rail, so I put it on the outside to hold it all together and get, make it more steel milly. And Corey also sent me, look at this stuff down here, real actual blast furnace slag, which I can't get in my neck of the woods. And I had some rust in a cup that's been sitting on my workbench for oh, probably about three months, so I figured I'd added in here too. These are resin wrecking balls. This is supposed to be a drop ball pit. That's what uh, I intended and I guess that's what a drop ball pit looks like. Probably a lot more torn up than this but this is brand new. So the only machine um, I could showcase a drop ball pit and get away with it is this one. You know, it's got a homemade electromagnet that doesn't work. And, uh, you know, it just sits in here all day and drops this ball on big chunks of slag and uh, old, you know, cast iron ingots and what have you. Anything that this, the mill needs, you know, just made into smaller pieces. But that's not really why I built this. Well, uh, two birds, one stone kind of thing. So, I wanted to try Corey's method of building stuff. And, man, it turned out great. This is cardstock. And it's just, it turned out wonderful. So I'm going to go with that. What I wanted to talk about today was this machine. I got quite a few people wanting to know how to build this right here. So that's going to be one of my next videos. Uh, probably the next video is I'll show you how to make these little guys right here. And it is so easy. This was junk out of my scrap box. That's what I made this out of. And uh, you're, going to, you're just going to be tickled that it's that easy to build this and put it on a machine like this. Uh, but I also wanted, this is huge news, I'm going to attempt to scratch build in 187th scale a Manawak 4100 crawler crane. That's what I wanted in this drop ball pit, was an actual Manawak crane. It's either I scratch build it and get a 4100, or I wait until Grandy Dancers, which is the new Sheep Scott uh, distributor, Grandy Dancers is going to uh, make another run of their Manawak, I think 3900, both crawler and truck crane, NHO scale. I wanted something a little bit more modern than a 3900 Manawak. That's pretty old. That's like 60s, 50s, 60s type stuff. And uh, 4100 is anywhere from 70s on up. But that's the machine I want in the drop ball pit. But this machine right here will have to work for now. I guess that's good enough. So my next major scratch build after this right here is Project 4100. I'm going to build a Manawak 4100. Or attempt to. That's going to be really hard. It's probably going to be one of the hardest builds. But I'm also going to basically bash it. I'm going to use a Kibra crawler crane boom whichever one I can find that will close enough match the 4100 and just go with that because building a boom that's just too complicated so I'm going to build the crawler of the crane and then the house upper section and all that in the crawler that's what I'm building and the boom and all that other stuff can I can figure that out it's no big deal <sighs> that's going to be hard but I wanted to challenge myself with the build and see if I could do it so God willing I'll get a Manawak 4100 built. But the next video is this little guy right here. So stay tuned. God bless you guys. Hope everyone's doing well. 
and say your prayers. I'm out. Bye.